Today's subscriber sponsored request coming in hot from one Sheila looking for chicken parm sandos with a marinara Alfredo twist and then I'm gonna put my own little hoodie twist on it. So let's get to making these sandwiches my and her style. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, we gotta make up our crusting dusting, AKA exterior coat. I have a blend of cornstarch and flour in here, half and half. Of course, it wouldn't be chicken parm without a bunch of parm, so incorporate yourself a nice amount of parm cheese in there. And for an extra little crispy crunch delight, I'm going in with panko breadcrumb. It is just that simple, mix that together. And then we transfer to the flat, low kind of dish so that when it comes time to go ahead and coat our chicken, we have it in this nice scenario here rather than a bowl. All right, I got this tomato basil sauce, but I had a little taste, it needs a tweak. I don't really like the uh, levels of it, so I wanna go in with a little oil for a little bit more garlic, a little bit more garlicky of a sauce. All right, sauce in. And y'all know I like to tweak with just a little bit of pepperoncini liquid in there. <laughs> I use it in everything. Gotta boil up a little penne pasta if we're gonna have chicken parm, of course. All right, y'all, I got some banged out scallopini chicken breasts here. Hopefully almost perfect size for these sandwiches. For adhesive, we are doing the mayo method on this one. We're not gonna do egg or buttermilk and flour and all that. Well, we are putting flour and all that stuff that we did earlier, but uh, we're doing the mayo method here for how we're gonna get it to stick. And then we bring in our dredge mix over here and get it pad padded on. Do a little flip, pack it in, pack it in, pack it in. All right, hot oil test, do we have bubbles? We do have bubbles, so we are ready to go. All right. Okay, a couple minutes in, we gotta do a flip, see where we're at. All right, so we're gonna pull these guys off and let them rest up a bit. Let them come down to a nice little room tempi. Alfredo being reconstituted, bringing in our penne. little bit of mozzarella just to bring it together. We're gonna let that come down and congeal. Gonna hit the top with another little layer of matzo as well. Time to toast up our breads. So Sheila was looking for me to make a little combination sauce. We have the Alfredo and then we have tomato sauce. So we're gonna do a half and a half and we're gonna make a blush sauce, pink sauce. I gotta heat this up. All right. 45 seconds later, and we're mixing up the sauce. Perfect blend. Time to flip these over. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Looking good, looking good. There we go. Marinara application on each. Not too heavy, don't wanna sog anything out, right? Just enough. We got the fake mozzarella. We got a couple slices of baby bell. Then we'll come in with the last of our grated matzo. Then we're gonna go ahead and bake and broil these off for probably like 10 minutes. Okay, we've baked off the penne. We're gonna let that kind of set up for a minute, just come together. Coming hot out the broiler. We got a little bit of perfect leoparding here. Look at that, just enough. All right, time to build. Some of y'all might know where this is going already. First things first, tiny bit of marinara on the bottom. Coming in for a landing with our main perfect chicken size piece. Then we gotta come in for the perfect placement of our congealed Alfredo penne. Dollop of marinara, why not? And then we just come in with the garlic toast and we close the case. Going to skewer for stability, a little 360. 
and then we repeat process and then eat process two beautiful chicken parm pasta alfredo sandwiches let's get it all right yo big shout out sheila for coming through and requesting chicken parm to begin with and then we got ideas spiraling I told her I would make sort of a rendition of an idea of a sandwich, of a combination situation of a chicken parm sandwich. Uh, she loves the combination of Alfredo with the tomato sauce, marinara sauce. So these are looking incredible. Can already tell they're gonna be very delicious. I've been saving up the hunger for this one. This is a heavy eat for sure. Just gonna move one guy off to the side so we can get full Manwich room because I'm not gonna bother these are gonna be full paw like we're just going in we just got to go in on on these because I don't think there's any dainty or cutting them way to do it I just think it is what it is but what it is is delicious is what I already know it's gonna be I can tell it's gonna be crack <laughs> so let's just go should I do a, an initial dip Okay, fine. Yeah, I gotta do an initial dip. All right. See if we can get in here and make sure there's nothing too crazy going down. All right. Initial dip. Let's see what we're working with. <laughs> oh my word <laughs> I've rocked up some pasta in between like bread while I'm eating spaghetti and meatballs and stuff but holy that's a different sensation Once again, another chicken video. But hey, that's what the people are requesting. I gotta give them what they want. Man, that's so good. Chicken is perfect. Really get that parm coming through. The garlic levels are on point. Mm. I can't even address the mess because it's just magic. Let's go for another dip. So the reason Sheila came through looking for this This is a bit of a, I need to vicariously eat through you episode. She said Alfredo, chicken parm, marinara, her favorite food, but she can't really be having it all that often right now. And I understand why. This is some rich, heavy, deluxe eaten. So hopefully, Sheila, this one hits the spot for you. Hitting the spot for me. Thank you. I also like that it kind of pushed my mind into a different frame. And I was like, how am I going to make this cool or different? I think I achieved it. All right. Cleanse the palate. Ah, 
and slide in that second opponent. <laughs> these breads too, these pre-made uh, garlic toasts, cannot go wrong. They are so good for so many different sandwich applications. Such a quick toast and they're always so soft. So soft. Mm -hmm. I said good sandwich. That's menu right there, to be honest. If we're doing a test kitchen, that is menu for sure. The mayo adhesive worked super legit. That's much easier than eggs and flour. So maybe give that a try if you've never tried it. I fasted deep for this one. What a good bite. Because I knew I was getting into heavy territory. And I know it's overused in my oldest trick in the book, but a little chini liquid in the tomato sauce. I don't know, it just brightens it up in this amazing way. And that chicken is just a perfect width. Sandwich architecture on point. Mm -hmm. In a situation like that, it just has to be a slam <laughs> from the top rope. You just gotta go in and for it with shit like this. Those are incredible. Really incredible. All right, another big shout out to Sheila. I hope that satisfied your crave. That actually wraps up my current subscriber sponsored requests. I have one person that's supposed to be coming through. Not sure if they will. We discussed everything, but I have yet to see the commitment. But uh, yeah, I'm all caught up. So if anybody wants to get in, now would be a good time. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.